This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Sakura Wars. In the last episode, we uh, met uh, one of the uh, mentors of the good Sakura herself. Got the Reggie his magazine, and we also met the girl who runs the confectionery shop. I really have no major story implications, but why not? More characters! More characters! But anyway, we gotta defend the place from a random monster attack, which doesn't even have any major story implications other than, hey, randomly we get attacked by crap during the uh, during the game. Woohoo! You know. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, just something to break up the tedium of talking to people. I guess. But anyway, so we gotta take care of these bozos. Yeah, no major map to uh, run through and and fight. You know. Yeah, whatever happened to those? Uh... Well, actually, it's not a major. But yeah, weren't the weren't the like the 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 combat review like um, event didn't they say like I could be wrong did they say it was gonna happen in a couple of days when they talked about it? like oh you better be prepared for it. it'll be a couple of days I'm like maybe that meant weeks or months or something like that and I just misread it because it hasn't been it's been a few days since since they said that so obviously it must have been weeks or something like that anyway it's because you can't spell. Moron. No. So, yeah, no major section there, so yeah, just straight on to a plot. Now I took damage dealt. First raid, completed. I still got an A. I got an A last time, so. Damn it, but I basically, man, eh, whatever. I was like, how could I have done, oh, I guess I could have done more damage by pressing triangle instead of circle, or having um, um, activated a, uh, yeah, whatever. Well, that was quick and annoying, so back to, <laughs> back to delivering the magazine, I guess. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's see if there's anything else, anyone else to check here before we head back. Oops, sorry. What'd she say? So romantic. Romance is a dead art. Uh, depending on who you talk to, it is. Anyway, back to back to town or back to the, the theater. Give our friend as a his dirty mag. You like reading books about steam, don't you, dirty boy? Gross. No, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know you could actually just mess around outside. Why is there a random dude with sunglasses here? Is he a secret agent man? Secret Asian man. Secret. I don't care what you what you think. I believe he's saying Asian man, even though that's that wasn't his intent. But the, because of the way he slurs the G together or whatever, it sounds like secret Asian man. I'm just saying. I'm just seeing if there's any like bromides out here. I will take a look. Oh, what's this say? That's a big city for you. Steady steam of steam cars zooming by and no end in sight. Wouldn't that, wouldn't all the steam and everything cause like a issue with the atmosphere or something like that? Oh, yep, it is safe. Oops, I didn't mean to. Then again, steam power is an actual thing. But, all right, you know what I mean. Like it isn't like a main form of power. Yep, came in, came in, kicked some demon butt. Oh, we just, I thought that was a specific, I had to specifically check that. Actually, the load times in this game aren't actually too bad. やはり先日コーマを駆逐したのはマグレ。次はあのアナスタシアパルマを使って公園を行おうと思っているようだが、所詮は二流。いや、三流劇だ。ビッグスターを呼んだところで何ともなるものか。まあ子供のお湯により増
今の何なんですプレジデント G ウルフのお偉いさんやウルフ世界歌劇団連盟のことやワールドなんちゃらかんちゃら略してウルフやなそのトップに立つんがあの男やなんやイケスカンやつやでえそんな人が何のようなんだ It sounds like we got ourselves a smug villain. I don't know if he's the main villain, but you know, the typical, like, head of a corporation or something like that who sounds deliciously evil, might not be that evil, but still kind of a jerk about it. Okay, we're just gonna go. Drop off. Ah! Why'd you, like, why'd you change my camera? Kamiyama, that guy who just went past his present G from Wheel Off, it, right? Yes, do you know him, Sakura? Well, it's not like I know him personally, but I definitely know of him. He's the one who formed Wheel Off in the first place about 10 years ago to fight back against the demons after the Battle of Tokyo. Wheel Off also runs the combat review world games. You know, the ones we're trying to win? Oh, yeah, I'm impressed. You really know your stuff, Sakura. Or she read it in a magazine or something like that. Yeah, it's just common knowledge. Yeah, it makes you seem. Oh, that. Oh, I was about to say, I wonder if Hashua or. Is it Hakushu? Sorry. Uh, still waiting, huh? Since the gentleman passed by a moment ago, huh, I can see Miss Kanzaki as her fans full. She does. Can we sit together and talk? You know, we're about the same age, you know, about the same height, both have swords, you know, both like. Never mind. Alright, let's go give Ray Giara a magazine. Unless, can we, uh. Who the hell are you guys? Or, who the hell are you? Get out of here! Get out! Stop, get out of here, you filthy mutt! Jeez. Manners. The other thing. Alright, we'll let Sumir up to that dude. We'll deal with this. Excuse me, sorry I'm recording this a little late, so been doing that all day. Yeah, I tend to get tired easier if I have to do a recording or I stare at a computer screen all day. I think it's because human eyes weren't designed for that. Ah, Sandra brought the goods, eh? Appreciate it. Yeah, you better. That was what you wanted, right? Steam, new Steam Monthly, Cat Paradise Meowthly, and Maju from Mikazuki. Well, it's whatever, whatever. What was it we wanted to bring in? What? You gotta pay me first. Oh, yeah. Bah, freaking tightwad. Don't worry, you'll get your money. What does trust have to do with the, uh, I know why why it's important for the girls, but why is it important for, like, Reiji and others? Like, does it actually affect anything? Probably just, uh, probably in their cases, anyone that's not the major girls from Flower Division, I assume it's just maybe, maybe extra stuff that you get to know about them, but I, I well, maybe you get, maybe you get something reward, like, at the end of the game, like a bromide or, or something, or maybe just information about them, I don't know. Ah, but you better be good for, I uh, fine, but you better be good for it. You got more important things to think about than your jump change, like Clarice, for instance. You have a fake sound of the stage real nice. You can't have a show without a script, can you? Now, I'll be done later tonight, so why don't you go see how Clarice is doing? Yeah, you're right. I guess we'll go check on her. Yeah, see how her writing's gone. Although, do you want to trust someone who's written a script for a whole play in like a day, you know? I mean, there are good writers who can actually write a decent script or decent writing and something and only do it in like a couple of days or whatever. But it's very skeptical just because of the, you know, you're trying to rush something out so it might not be as good as you think it is, you know. That's why people who write magazine or write articles daily for just random websites to get articles, they usually are pretty not well written because they're just out there for either to get a free uh, or either get the paid the cheaply or they just want to write stuff every day, you know. Not saying everything everything that's written has to be like pure gold, but you know. I wonder how Clarice is doing. I don't want to disturb her though. No. Uh, let me double check something for her, because that'll probably take us to the next section. Um, not that I'm aware of. Oops. No, we've done everything. Okay. Just making sure. Let's disturb her. Be done with the script already. We need something that's awesome. That only took a day to write. Wow, how do you all get rid of it? 
普通助けになんて来てくれないよね神山だけどあはいどうぞどうだい脚本は進んでるかな、うん、えっとはい一応ですけどよかったら読んでもいいかいはいすごいじゃないかクラリス本当ですかよかったでもいいところで終わっていて早く続きが読みたいなえっとはい頑張ります Alright then I feel badly and Claire has to do all the work at least she cares about at least she cares about the work not having a deus ex maca to come in do you know how many writers tend to do that I don't mind it every once in a while, but God, everyone's just like, I gotta save it because I wrote myself in the corner. Can't go back and fix it to get to that point. Nope, we gotta just make some magic sky god thing appear out of the air and save everyone. Maybe we'll head back to my room take care of all that paperwork that's been building up. Stage should be fixed by tomorrow and everything's coming up together nicely. All this rate, we'll just pull this one off. Yep, time to go to bed and dream of... Dream of large... Nah, sorry. Let's see how our team status is going. Actually, probably, uh, uh... Oh, looks like, uh, looks like, uh... Um... Uh, it looks like, uh, Sakura's, uh, moved up a, a step, because she looks a little bit farther ahead than the other girls. But it looks like, uh, Sakura's happy. Uh, 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 Azami, Azami's happy, and the other girls are, like, mm, either angry or annoyed or worried or whatever. I'm not sure what blurbs those are, but... Anyway. Yeah, I guess saying nothing sometimes gets you some good results. Nah, I don't need to save it, I mean. I can get back here pretty quickly. I mean, true, you should save it at every point, but... Like I said, a lot of the stuff can be skipped, so... So replaying through a thing isn't as heinous as other games are. I feel like it'll be a while till we have another major chapter where we have, like, a big... Well, I could be wrong. I'm really not saying anything. Oh,おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
too good for them, huh? Or maybe there's no better teacher than there. There's a reason you can't. All right, I'll teach. My <laughs> yeah, I'll teach the girls about acting, even though I can't act myself. It's because I'm indecisive. All this other stuff. There's probably something behind that. このままじゃ私たちいつまで経っても大根のままです。そ、そうだよな。ここは男を見せないと。あなたたちや。頼むよ。この通り。花組の公園を成功させるためには必要なことなんだ。お、お願いします。私たちが未熟だってのは私たち
I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. She wants to get the queen straight away. So no dolly, please. I'm just gonna give her the regular voice. I don't know what we can. Oh, it's one of those. Okay, well. No dolly, huh? Okay, well, I wonder how long it actually takes for this one. Last time it took like a couple of minutes. Or at least it felt like a couple of minutes. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just walk around. Oh, gotta pick up that bromide. Yep, gotta look at this. Uh, Hanabe Katoji? Katoji. Hmm. Review. Her fans adore her grace and classic Japanese beauty. The performance is for you, Felipe. I'm not familiar with which one she's from. I'm going to say that a lot. I, don't, I mean, maybe I could have done a lot of research for this game, but I feel like, you know, it just kind of... I don't know. I think there's probably a lot better people, or even Japanese uh, players who probably do. Is she still... Oh, it's sitting there? Oh, right. We need to deliver the cleaning supplies. Yep. Deliver the cleaning supplies. I better hurry. Better do it quickly. Nah, I don't want to waste uh, time buying that, so we'll just let it run out. Oh, that's right. I was told to deliver the cleaning supplies. Were, er, I was told the cleaning supplies were an urgent delivery. I better not keep Hatsuho waiting any longer. I waited to the very last second. Yo, Yo Captain. Oh, sorry. What? What? Oh. あ、さん <laughs> Well, that ended up as bad as I thought. It didn't get any negative trust. Just didn't get any. Is she still, uh. Well, someone's in the bath, because. Oh, she's in there right now. But I assume she's cleaning. Hatsuho. Uh, hey, Hatsuho, need a hand? Still here, Captain. I'm all good, so why don't you go take care of your own work? You sure? Alright, then let me ask you one work related question. Where would you say is the busiest place in Ginza? Huh, gotta be the Imperial Theater, of course. <laughs> yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Thanks, Hatsuo. Hmm. Well, thanks for nothing. Nothing, honey. Anyway, failed that mission. Oh. Yeah, might as well, while we're here, take double check, uh, double check the uh, bromide situation. See if there's. We already found one, so I doubt most sections seem to only have like maybe a couple. It's usually not very many. I mean, you get the one from from um, the shop girl. And then you get Komachi or whatever. And then usually there's like two or three just kind of uh, um, hanging around. And we've already got one, so there's probably not very many others. Really, if anyway, that's the bromides are kind of a way to kill your time outside of... Because out, other than that, it's just running and talk to the one person. You can almost not even have to have this... You could easily not have this um, explore feature in the game, if that makes sense. You could easily just, like, um, just not have it and just go from one room to the room. Well, that's what the previous one was, pretty much. Oh, you can now play uh, Koi Koi. I don't want to play Koi Koi. I don't want to play Hanafuda. Thank you. Okay. Weren't you? Oh, well, I can see if you've got a... Let's see, how many people I... Well, I need to talk to a few people anyway, so I might as well buy your bromide after I talk to you. So let's buy the bromide first. Uh, okay, so let's buy another Anastasia bromide, because she's the best. There's no denying. She's clearly the best. I, I'll, I, I'll, I'll not argue with you on this one. It's clearly true. Number 34. Ooh, novice collector. Anastasia, the kabuki enthusiast. She dreams of performing a kabuki play herself one day. To hone your acting skills, you must study the crates. Uh, kabuki is a great? Yeah, if you say so. Nah, I'm just kidding. If you, if you like Kabuki, that's fine. Not really my type. I've seen it before. I've, I've seen 
well, I've never, I haven't actually gone to a Kabuki show. I've only seen it before via video and stuff like that. And I don't think it's my type of entertainment or theater, if you know what I mean. But that's fine. It's not all entertainment's made for everyone. And that's perfectly okay. Looks like there's no random bromides hiding around. It doesn't seem like it. So, all right, what does the candy man, I mean candy girl, want from us? Oh, Kamiyama, welcome. Hi there, Hiromi. Can I talk to you about something? Talk with me? Sure, sure. What about? I'm planning to do a little promotion for the theater. I was wondering if you knew any good spots. Promotion, huh? Well, let me think. How about a cafe? There's a place called Cafe Guy Dule. It's the talk of the town these days. I stop with myself from time to time. Your cakes and coffee are to die for. Literally. No. <laughs> so you're into pastries too, huh? Got it. That's good to know. Or, got it. That's good to know. Thanks, Romy. No problem. Good luck with the promotion. Uh, Giza Intro. Info. Cafe. Information on Giza from Harami. She told you about a hip... hip it's a hip spot, man. Cafe Guile Delay. It might be the perfect place for Peanut to show up. Ew, Peanut, huh? But I hate Peanut. Okay, anyway. Back to the theater. So it was just a, it was a side quest that gave us some extra info if we wanted to play as Peanut. Cool. Because I love playing as a random mascot doll thingy. Wait, can we even go to the Cafe Dulé? Or do we have to... Or no, maybe... Because we're trying to ask for the quest. We're trying to travel around for the purposes of the... Uh, oops. Wrong button. And it's probably after we do this thing. It maybe opens up as a side area or something. All right. Well, let's go talk to... Kamachi, since we're here. Oh, there, Kamiyama. Where'd you come from? Oh, sorry, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but what would you say is one of the busiest places in Ginza? Jeez, that's sun. But you got I've got to say, Ginza Yokocho. It's packed with great shops and stuff. I go there pretty often myself. Just got to haggle them a bit, and you can get sweet stuff for steel. It's heaven. <laughs> well, let's see you in action, Kamachi. Can't help you there, Kamiyama. These days, the moments they see me coming, their, their, their way, they slam the shutters. Whoa, guess your haggling was a little too good. Too good. I'm joking, Kamiyama. You gotta bite my guy. Oh, sorry. Come on, no way. Yeah, that's the spirit. A bit late, though. <laughs> my bad. Okay, so we got Ginza Yokocho. So we have an option there. All right, where else do we need to go upstairs and talk to Itsuki, Itsu, Itsuki? And I think off screen in between episodes, I'll double check and see if there's any other uh, bromides around. Oh, she's kind of weird that she's on the second floor. But anyway, that's not what I'm talking to right now. Usher Crusher, hey there. Hey, Itsuki, you're early again today, huh? Of course, a real Imperial Theater fan shows up every day at the crack of dawn. Don't you have, like, a job, life, school, boyfriend, girlfriend, something? Hey, thanks. Since you're such a huge fan, then maybe you'll know the answer to this. I'm looking for a good place to promote the Imperial Theater. I don't suppose you know of any. Promotion, huh? Leave it to me. Promotion, promotion. So you need a place with lots of people, right? Oh, I know. How about the music park on the Ruffigan Roko Department Store? All right, that's the perfect spot. Thanks for the lead, Itsuki. Don't mention it. Whenever I get a chance to help out the theater, I'm pumped. Okay. Has lots of kids there. That ain't creepy. Oh, anyway. Uh, so I think that's it for all the side stuff. Okay. I'll talk to uh, Sakura, and then we'll call it an episode. Because I want to... I don't want to do all the story-based stuff now, currently. Which room, actually, which room is uh, Azami, Azami in? I don't think I have to check. Oh wait, is that our actual room? Oh yeah, it, oh, yeah, it is our actual room. Huh. Okay, so I have to. I was about to say maybe I should do that one if she's in a room I can't explore or something like that. But uh, no, she's not. I assume there would be. We haven't entered her room yet, have we? Okay. I, d I bet the whole time he's probably gonna do like every girl in the room. Gonna stare around. Then we're gonna make a decision. Then we're gonna be like a creep. And then they're gonna kick us in the nuts. No. 
Oops, I did not mean to press that. Hey Sakura, you, I don't know why I keep calling her. Never mind. Hey Sakura, you might have some insight. Do you know what the busiest spot in Ginza is? Busiest spot? How about Mikasu Memorial Park? I go there lots of times to rehearse. You can play all the together. No, the game's not boring, folks. I'm just tired right now. People running around, napping, eating, crying, laughing, singing. And um, sometimes you even see couples spending time together there. I see. That does sound like a good spot. Thanks for the help. Oh, sure. So, um, is that all? Hmm? What do you What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Don't Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, she wanted us to ask her out or something like that. That's why she probably... Why we asked her, she's probably thinking, it's like, it ain't gonna happen. No, I'm, I'm not against those side relationships. I, I just like, I like being, I like being, being contrary when it comes to stuff like that. You know, just, just because. I like going against the grain. Just because it's more entertaining. So, we found out a lot of places to go where to promote. We got one more place to go and then maybe a place to choose or to explore or something like that. But find out where we... Where we do choose next time in the next episode of Soccer Wars. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.